This was really totally unexpected. They uh, had never had a case at their hospital before of someone with advanced cancer like this who had survived. It's news that no one is prepared to hear. For Ivy Fabian, the diagnosis of breast cancer sounded like a mistake. I was in shock. I couldn't believe it. And I just kept going through my head, trying to figure out what could have caused it. I never think that, you know, I would end up with cancer because I always think that I live such a healthy life and I eat right and I also exercise. Ivy had stage three breast cancer. A malignant tumor in her breast had already grown to nearly five inches and it was spreading. Like many women with breast cancer, Ivy faced some tough decisions about treatment. I was scared because it seems like the tumor is getting bigger. And I really was really, really scared, you know. I just don't know where else would the tumor grow to. You know, I think it was going to ready to burst. That's the stage I was at. The challenge is to find a way to target cancer cells while sparing normal ones. The theory that cancer cells are more vulnerable to heat than other cells has led some oncologists to try a therapy called hyperthermia. In hyperthermia, heat is applied directly to a tumor. The idea is that by heating the tumor itself, only the tumor will be damaged, making it more vulnerable to radiation and chemotherapy. Cancer cells and the cancer's uh, blood supply is very susceptible to heat. If you use hyperthermia, it will make a dose of radiation twice as effective as a normal dose. After some research, Ivy chose hyperthermia as part of her treatment. It does not put any chemical into my body, so it makes more sense for, this, for me to have this treatment. Heat as therapy is both ancient and cutting edge. It's said that the legendary Greek physician Hippocrates buried his patients in hot sand to raise their temperature and restore their health. The body's own heating mechanism is fever. At the Valley Cancer Institute in Los Angeles, California, radiation oncologist Dr. Haim Beecher uses microwave and ultrasound to heat tumors. According to Beecher, tumors are more easily damaged by heat than normal tissue making radiation and chemotherapy even more effective. If you give half the dose of radiation and hyperthermia, it will accomplish the same result as a full dose of radiation or even better. Both the cancer cells and the cancer's uh, blood supply is very susceptible to heat. A tumor is not a normal organ. It's constantly fighting for its own life. Beecher points out that hyperthermia alone is not enough to kill a tumor. It simply enhances the power of other treatments. And it has less toxic side effects than chemotherapy and high-dose radiation. You don't make the patient sick with the treatment. For its limited use, can be a tremendous help. Ivy chose hyperthermia because the side effects are less severe than with high-dose radiation and chemotherapy. She's been a patient here for four months. Okay, Ivy, now we're going to insert the microthermocouple into the breast tissues. You know you have the catheter in there. Okay. So as we go in, you won't feel anything, but the thermocouple will be positioned inside of your tumor. Okay. The reason I chose this method is because it's non-invasive. There's no chemical going to my body. Basically, just using heat to kill the, the best cells, which, you know, I, I find it uh, fascinating. Her treatment consists of daily visits to the clinic, where she receives a combination of low-dose radiation and heat therapy. Dr. Beecher begins each treatment by placing a small sensor into the tumor to regulate the heat. Temperatures can rise as high as 117 degrees. If the heat becomes too much, there's a bell nearby for Ivy to ring. She will feel warm, but she will not feel pain. If she feels pain, she has to immediately press this and will lower the power. Doesn't matter what the thermocouples read, she's the best thermometer. Next, he applies heat through this microwave applicator, regulated by a nearby computer. Okay, Ivy, you are all set now. Mm -hmm. So now just relax and do what you always okay. do. Go to sleep. Thanks. It feels like it, as if you're getting a suntan. That's exactly what it feels like. 
And most of the time I just go to sleep. Yeah, that's how comfortable it is. <laughs> Carla Sweeney was also diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer. And like Ivy, she chose hyperthermia as part of her treatment. And it was going into the chest wall. And the people there said, the doctor said that when it enters the chest wall, you lose a certain protection that the body has, a natural protection. And it can metastasize much e easier. So that's when we decided to come and do the hyperthermia. After four months of treatments, Carla's cancer went into remission. We, we have the latest results from the MRIs that were done, and here you can see this was your tumor mm -hmm. when we started. Remember, it was attached to the chest wall here? Yes, it was a and all that. close to the wall, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is your breast now? It's a normal breast. There's no evidence of anything there. I'm grateful that there was something like hyperthermia that I could do rather than the chemo and high-dose radiation. But Carla must be diligent. Dr. Beecher warns her to get regular exams to make sure the cancer has not returned. Remember, you have to do this now every three months. Okay. Myself or no have, a, have a picture have taken every three yeah. months. You find yourself very grateful for those moments of just being with your family, doing the dishes, being together. Ivy's tumor is shrinking. It's now one-third of its original size, and today, her prognosis looks good. When Ivy came to us, the breast was almost totally replaced by tumor. You see the tumor begins to disappear. And as this happens, she's reassured. You cannot imagine how happy that person is at that point. Hyperthermia is one of many new approaches now being used to treat cancer.